well made um, from the reviews I've already seen. The Milwaukee um, has way better reviews than the DeWalt. Uh, so the build quality, I would say is impressive. So that's a nice feature. You can feather the uh, throttle. Now, the way I was trained in the fire service is anytime you enter a cut, you should be full speed. Where that probably, being able to feather the throttle is gonna be a major benefit if you're using it for carpentry and you know doing some more intricate work, which I have seen uh, quite a few guys using these on their job sites. Easy, Chucky. That's pretty tight. Oh, it's got a little weight to it. Oh. What do you think? Alex's opinion, does a chainsaw belong on a job site? I don't know, you think these homeowners care about this tree? <laughs> Pretty, pretty darn clean too. Yeah, that's sweet. Cause where I think a chainsaw like that is gonna really shine is like when you're doing a roof, whether you're cutting your plum cuts, and especially in a deal like where we're dealing with this hip, and we have to make kind of an odd angle cut, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult to do with the circular saw. Where I think they would really shine is when you're notching post, when you're post and beam connection, I've seen a lot of guys um, use them for, you know, timber framing. Um, anytime they're notching out posts. So I'm gonna notch out this little drop, this scrap piece of a six by six to kind of just simulate uh, what it would be like to use for that. think I mean even with that small little block that's jumping around I mean that's a pretty darn clean cut and obviously if you were on a big had your piece properly secured you could really feather it in um, man I like it I like it a lot I think that you know the a chainsaw definitely has a place on the job site um, you know if that was a real world scenario a big post sitting there you could you know really feather it in do a nice job and you could do it very quickly all while being safe um, especially I think you see a lot of guys cutting rafter tails uh, which we did yesterday and I think that would equally do a good job be a lot more comfortable and convenient so in my mind this chainsaw is awesome one other anecdote to add uh, where I think these saws will really kind of change the game is in the fire service. Um, with your traditional gas powered chainsaw, when we would get up and vent a roof, um, you know, there, when the smoke would be blown out of the roof, it would end up choking out your saw and die um, from lack of air. And once that would happen, that chainsaw was done. So then you'd have to get down off the roof, go grab another chainsaw, fiddle with it, get it started. So where these battery powered saws are really gonna shine, I think will be for the fire service. I don't know if a certain brand will partner up with Milwaukee. Um, I know a lot of extrication companies have uh, partnered up with Milwaukee and their 28 volt battery. I could see the potential there is where these saws will really shine. I have some buddies that are linemen. I know they love these uh, saws. Forestry done. We're gonna be lumberjacks. Lumberjacks. Bridget's coming out with a chainsaw, post hole digger, brush cutters, hedge trimmer, something else. So it'll be, I don't know if I'll get the chainsaw, but. Only gripe I have about this is not having blade or a chainsaw wrench storage Again. on it. That's one thing I think it's a simple thing that they should add. For these right here? Yeah, tension and, and stuff. your flathead to adjust the chain. 
Cause like my still. Right there. Oh, what a find! They do have one. I don't know how you get it out. Weird. How do you get that out? It's stored on there, though. Let's what see. a find! You got Spoke. a screwdriver? Spoke too soon. Can I get in here? Oh, right there. Milwaukee, you've done it again. So that's a huge find. So I apologize, Milwaukee. I don't know if that'd be likely to fall out, but I don't think that would fall out. It takes it's quite tight. a bit to get her in there. So yeah. I, I retract my aforementioned statement. The way they trained it in the fire service, you know, if you're holding it like this, cutting, and anytime you'd bind up, like get close to your leg, you just roll oh. your hand forward and stops it right away. Okay. I thought that was come back. Oh, I guess it would too, like if you're cutting and it caught. Yeah. That's probably how it's designed. Do some safety. So, thanks for watching this quick review. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Let us know do chainsaws belong on the job site?